I have five recommendations that, of books that I have picked out from the library. Uh, the first one is On Photography by Susan Sontag. This is a go-to book for photographers who are starting out. Uh, she has a brilliant way of uh, analyzing uh, the relationship of uh, people with their cameras and the way to photograph. And I think it's very important to read what it really means to photograph something and how different perspectives come into play in the world of photography. Actually, the, the uh, two books by one of my favorite authors, Jane Austen, who only wrote about five or six books in her entire life. Uh, Emma and Pride and Prejudice are two of my favorites. What I find really interesting about Jane Austen is the way she writes about uh, women in that time. And, uh, you know, one can compare it to uh, life of women over here right now and a hundred years ago. And it's always an interesting perspective to see how far and how much has changed in the West in terms of um, feminism and where we're headed right now because it's such a hot topic over here these days. Um, Elif uh, Shafak, she's a Turkish author. I've read uh, 40 Rules of Love and I really, really uh, connected with that book because of the whole Sufism. And the way she writes about um, Turkey, I feel it's reminiscent of how I feel about Karachi and I would like to write one day like that about Karachi. So this is actually on my wish list. I actually have this book. I haven't read it yet. I've started it. It's called The Art Architect's Apprentice. And uh, I think for anyone who is interested in uh, how people have relationships with their cities and how they write and talk about it, should read her work. And uh, of course, if you're interested in Sufism in a not so metaphysical way, but a more uh, layman way, then you can go for this. Uh, I mentioned earlier in uh, about how uh, I feel that Karachi, uh, only a single story is uh, being told about Karachi. That term single story and the danger of a single story uh, is uh, a term used by this author called Chimamanda Adichie. And she had a TED talk in which she talked about it. And then she uh, also had a TED talk about how we should all be feminists, which I highly recommend everyone um, go watch. So this is her book. Uh, Half of a Yellow Sun. She's an amazing uh, author and the way she talks about her home country is very similar to how I feel about Karachi and how uh, you know it's represented only in a particular way. The last uh, book I chose, a uh, homegrown author, uh, Kamala Shamsi. She is one of my favorite authors, subcontinent me, and uh, her book Cartography is my go-to book whenever I'm traveling or when I was studying abroad. Cartography is something that really hits home. So this is what I'm reading these days. It's her new book called Home Fire and I'm really enjoying it. I'm in the halfway through. So Kamala Shamsi is definitely someone you should read um, because she, the way she talks about Karachi is how I feel about Karachi. So go to cartography first and then move along chronologically with the, the rest of her books. This is the latest one called Home Fire.